Hey guys, it's me Will Patterson here again and here's a new video and I'm sorry for not putting out many videos I've been on holiday in Blackpool um, and I've been doing t-shirt design work but I'm going to show you how I created this thumbnail for my illustrator t-shirt tutorial uh, tutorial series, sorry um, and basically I'm showing this within Photoshop because it's most easily done within Photoshop but it can be done in Illustrator so the first thing I do is I'm going to create a new document up here if I can Oh, hang on a sec, all my things are going on to the second monitor. Let's get them back onto this monitor. And I've just got a text message. So I'm gonna go 1280 by 720. Uh, and the first thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'm gonna choose this color, it's a nice pink. Um, and that again has gone over to the left screen, which is not good. Um, and it is, the hex code is F2184B, if you wanna copy that in and you'll get this exact color. I'm gonna press Alt and Backspace and that will fill this, this layer, the background layer, in purple. And I'm just going to go and press Alt and double click on the background to make it editable. Change it to background, like so. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press T to get my type tool out. And I'm just going to type in, um, uh, what is it? Should I just type in YouTube? You won't be able to see anything because it's, uh, it's pink, the color's pink. So I'm going to press Command A. I'm just going to appear and turn it to white. So I'm going to go YouTube. Then I'm going to go and expand it up, pressing Control T using Shift and Alt to expand it from the center. And then I'm just going to change the font to something cool called League Gothic, and that's available online. And then I'm going to go over to here to my character menu and press all caps there. And then we've got that. Amazing. So then I'm going to expand it up even more. I'm going to go YouTube. Then I'm going to press V to get my move tool. I'm just going to copy it down like so. Actually, no, first I'm going to come off that. I'm going to press Command A, which will select the whole canvas. I'm just going to press uh, center horizontal line like so. Then I'm just going to Command A. So not Command A, but Alt and Shift it down to copy it. Press T, change this to thumbnail. Expand this down like so, expand it down exactly to the sort of measurements of this, it has to be exact. Uh, if you're having trouble, like me, just get, press command now and put some rulers in place over YouTube there. And then over here, and you can get, you can get them like that, so you know where to expand it to. It makes it a lot easier. Like so. So it's exactly there. And they put it in the center doesn't look right but oh well it should be okay just about there maybe somewhere there then i'm going to press t again and just type in um channel because i want to say youtube channel thumbnail um no i want to say youtube uh thumbnail tutorial that's true tutorial so it'll be youtube thumbnail tutorial because you'll read this smallest part last Expand that up. I'm going to change the font to Wisdom Script. It's a very known font. And then I'm going to go over here, uh, take the caps off it, and the first T, I want it to be a capital. Then I'm going to press U to get my box out. I'm going to make a little selection outside of it, a little box. I'm pressing space to move the box. And there we go, we've got that. I'm going to go and change some of the settings here. I'm going to make sure that the alignment's in the center of the path, not on the outside or the inside. And then I'm going to change the color of the stroke to white, like so. Then I'm going to just expand it up a bit just to give it the actual look. Then with the rectangle, I'm going to press Command. I'm going to uh, select the rectangle by pressing Command and on the layer. Go to Tutorial, and I'm going to make this into a shape. So I'm just going to go Convert to Shape, um, and then I'm going to press horizontal and vertical alignments to that. Press Command E to deselect it. Then I'm just going to go ahead and group these together to make it easier. And then I'm going to go put this group up here. Like so, you won't be able to see it that well. But then I'm going to press Command T with the group and hold Shift. I'm just going to put it on a 45 degree angle, like so. And then I'm going to expand it down even a bit as well to make it look better. Awesome. Now, now this you won't be able to see very well, but you will in a minute. So I'm going to go and press uh, twill open this group and then just highlight, uh, so select the rectangle. 
And then I'm going to go and actually select these two here and group them. And then with this, I'm going to go back into my group here. I'm going to go select, modify, expand. And this will expand the selection. Now it's over with the screen again. So let's get it back over here. I'm going to expand it by, let's say, five. And let's say another two because I want the selection to be a bit bigger. So I'm just going to go expand by another two like so. Now I've expanded that. I want to go and delete this selection from these uh, the YouTube thumbnail writing. So I'm going to go into group two. I think, yep, I've just hidden it to make sure I know which one it is. And then I'm going to literally, if I can, I'm going to bring this in a bit like so. Bring the bottom part up. I'm going to go into this layer mask icon here and press Alt, and then I'm going to click it. And what this will do is this will uh, make sure that the, the selection has been masked out and it's not been erased. Awesome. Now I'm going to um, quickly do another thing because, as you see in here, this text here is 3D looking. So, what I do for this, I don't know if it worked now, but you can do it yourself. Um, is I'm going to just twill open this, and then you see the tutorial part. Okay, I'm going to go and press V and then I'm going to command, uh, hold Alt even and then press the uh, down arrow button once. Then I'm going to keep pressing down with that Alt a little bit and this will create a copy. Now, for the copy there, we're just going to go press the first uh, tutorial, which is below it. I'm going to press Command Alt it. Then I'm going to go to select and do the same thing, expand, I'm do it by one pixel. And then with this uh, tutorial copy there, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing as I did and press Alt and click that. And that will uh, deselect it basically. Oh, hang on a sec. I've just screwed up my monitors there. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. Um, and then that will deselect it. Put it there like so. And then I'll just bring this back into play. I'm going to just um, group all this together like so. Command G or Control G and say text. I'm going to press Command A to highlight the canvas and then I'm going to just put it into the center like so. And what you can do with this is you can make it look a bit grunge looking by pressing um, the mask button. Just press the mask button, uh, go on to press B and then that'll get you to brush selection tool. Make sure you're highlighting your mask there and then literally all you need to do is make sure you're on a black part here. Now if I just um, make sure that my Photoshop's all in screen. If I just go and press X to bring up this black thing here, you'll see that if I just hover over it and press it, it will mask some of it out, and give it a grunge looking effect. Just like there, and it just gives it a subtle little grunge looking effect. So guys, that's the tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. Make some cool YouTube thumbnail videos. Uh, well, sorry, yeah, tutorials or whatever you wanna do. Thanks for watching. There'll be a new video coming out every week. Make sure you message me if you want any work done or anything. Thanks for being awesome. See you later.